Hey guys, what's up? It's just Connor here. Hope you're having an amazing day as per usual. Now, in today's video, I want to talk about a topic that's been on my mind for the last couple months and more intensely the past couple weeks. Even this week, I've had several occasions where this topic has popped up and it's something that I really wanted to talk about, but I haven't really prioritized it, so I'm doing it here and now. And that video topic I want to talk about is guaranteed placement, right? It's a super, super, uh, I guess, big thing that's been uh, become really popular inside of the high ticket sales industry, but more particularly, the people who are facilitating the offers that help people into the high ticket sales industry and help people transition from their current career into high ticket sales, right? Now, this is a very important topic. Why should you listen to me and why am I credible to listen to about this? Well, I've been doing uh, high ticket sales. I've been in the industry for four, nearly five plus years now. I've spent thousands of hours actually selling on the phone in the high ticket sales industry. I'm connected to over hundreds and hundreds of sales reps who navigate this industry and, and do very, very well. And I've purchased the top training programs in the industry, right? Spending 20,000 plus upwards in cash upfront on some of the best sales trainings in the industry, right? So I've been doing this for quite some time now. And the only time I've sold or been a salesperson within is within this corner of the market. So I do have a few... I guess, uh, I guess do I have a decent knowledge and understanding of how this process actually works and what are the pros and cons to the whole thing. So we're going to talk about that today. Now, obviously, like I mentioned, this has become a topic that's come up, you know, more frequently every single week, considering I have a chat to about three to five conversations per day, six days a week for people who are applying to join the RSA program. It's something I want to talk about. So let's start off by explaining why do people offer guaranteed placement? Well, to first understand that, we need to understand as far as like the actual industry as a whole, right? So what's happened in the past couple weeks, couple months, couple years, right? More more noticeably in the last year or so is more of these gurus and marketers and people who really haven't been in the space for very long, couple weeks, couple months, maybe even up to a year sometimes, but that really isn't a long enough time in my opinion to actually have a really solid idea on what you're talking about when it comes to the high ticket sales space, considering it is so complex, right? I even had a comment the other day, if you're watching this, shout out to you, saying that uh, my video has really helped uh, you know, that person understand high ticket sales and he sees he views high ticket sales as more complicated than rocket science, which is something, <laughs> something, something like that, that he majored his degree in or something like that, I can't remember, um, or quantum physics, I'm not too sure. but. I understand it's a very hard industry to get because it is, right? It's very hard for someone or most people to conceptualize. And that's why I make these YouTube videos to help people understand it much better, right? But the reason why people offer guaranteed placement, like I was mentioned before with all these people that are coming up here and here, here, there and every day, is that people want to make their offers more competitive. So they want to seem like the best offer and they want to seem like the least resistance possible in their sales process so that you will buy their stuff. Right, usually they're going to charge anywhere between three and ten thousand USD for their training and placement programs. Right now, what's happened with this across the industry? Many, many people have overpromised and underdelivered. I see this frequently on a weekly basis, either in my DMs on Instagram, uh, on or on YouTube, just and through conversations I have every single day for people who want to join the RSA. Is a typical situation is they will you know, they will check like the, the, the guru or the marketer or the person who's not very skilled and don't really know what they're talking about and haven't actually done this. They'll charge you three, four or five, like I mentioned, oh, upwards of $10,000. And they will do what the job of a rec- that a recruiter would do for you practically for free. And they will deliver to you very foundational, very basic, very surface level sales skills and they'll equip you with nothing on how to network and how to select your offer and how to interview and how to do all these right things, right? A lot of the information, what they're giving you is very basic, very rudimentary. And to be honest, could most of at least 90% of it could probably be found on YouTube or any typical old sales book, right? Now, this has in turn caused a lot of people to be burned inside this industry, have a bad taste in their mouth, and of course, not get the results they're looking for. And now some more motivated individuals they will make that bad mistake. They'll make that purchase in a bad mentor or a bad course or a bad training program, bad recruitment agency or placement program. 
And then they actually, these poor souls, have to invest more money in their training, which happens very regularly with the RSA training program, where people have been burned by these people, and they then have to come to me and actually get the help that they actually need, right? And so this is a video that I want to make, so hopefully I can prevent that from being you, because... I guess I'd like you to get the right skills, whether it's from me or, you know, someone else in this industry who actually knows what they're talking about, then that's fine. But the main thing is I, it really hurts my soul every time I hear that. People have um, been burned, spent 3K and just haven't got the results looking for because the key thing in this industry, guys, you have to understand to be successful, you have to take responsibility. Guaranteed placement doesn't take responsibility, right? It doesn't take self-ownership. And to be successful in the industry, you need to operate like a business. You need to operate like a founder and a CEO. And doing that, projecting responsibility to get your own clients on somebody else is not the way to go. I can guarantee you that. Now, let's take a look at my next point. So when you're starting out, you may or may not have the most desirable characteristics to be considered for a quality opportunity, right? This is really important to understand. Uh, people are just blanket saying, you know, selling people, you know, 20, 25, 30, 40, 60, 70 plus people into a training program every single month and they're saying they can guarantee everybody a job, right? Just simply not true. And what's happened is these people are trying to scale their programs and scale, 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 scale and grow, 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 but not really care about client results or client success. And so what happens is bad words still gets around, but even with bad words still, still getting around, people still fall for the, the coaching program and they still enter into it anyway, right? They still kind of get into that trap. There are so many variables to take into account when guaranteeing somebody placement, right? That's why I simply don't do it because guaranteeing placement is a ridiculous claim, in my opinion, and it's a very difficult thing to deliver. Even even at our capacity right now, the RSA, we're only taking on about 16 to 20 students per month. I would never offer that, right? At the most, I'd maybe in the future, you know, offer like guaranteed interviews, but that's probably as far as that would go because it's, it's a very complex offer to deliver for. And you, if you're getting guaranteed placement, especially for a very solid vetted opportunity, that should be very expensive, right? It should be at least $10,000 plus, right? In my opinion, this is a very valuable service and it should be, you know, there should be a lot of costs that come in the business when associated with that. Now, the next problem is that beginners think that guaranteed placement equals guaranteed income. This is, could not be further from the truth. I'll tell you why. I can guarantee you placement and then I can place you an offer that requires you to do Facebook prospecting for some guru or business owner that is like, I could even give you a cold calling role and basically guarantee you placement, right? These offers you can find for free on Indeed and, uh, you know, wherever, like, you know, job uh, recruitment platforms, you can find the job posts and Facebooks really at that point, right? The thing is, there are a lot of shitty offers in the industry and I can guarantee you placement with any one of them and still deliver and fulfill my promise. But would you be happy if you got an offer and you weren't able to make any money from it? No, right? Now, what's the problem with that? Once you get on a guaranteed placement and you get on an offer, right? And you've, you know, you projected responsibility onto somebody else and now you're like, cool, so the offer doesn't make any money. You go back to the business owner. Well, no, you've, they've already filled on the guaranteed placement. So it's like, hey, man, that's your fault. You lost the role, right? Or it didn't make you any money, right? That's your fault. This is what they'll do. They'll blame it on a bad mindset. And then you go, well, what do I do? And then you have no skills to network, land interviews, actually interview super well, and then finally, actually how to understand how to navigate the industry and pick your offer correctly. These are the three skills that every, almost every single beginner salesperson lacks, all right? I get DMs every single day of people ask me to be a setter or a closer, all right, for my company, RSA, right? We're not hiring, don't send me a message, right? But I send them access to videos and all this type of stuff, and I always ask them, like, what are you doing for networking strategy? Nothing, right? What do you know about interviewing skills? Oh, show up time and be presentable, right? Half people can't even do that, right? So there's a severe skill and knowledge gap in that area. So beginners are then shit out of luck, basically, and they end, end up exiting the industry and they end up, you know, uh, taking on the chin as a loss of, you know, three to $10,000, which is an, a very significant loss for a lot of people and sometimes can put them in debt, right? Which is a big, big no-no, which is not fun for anybody, right? Now, 
Next thing I want to talk about is the trend of this industry, right? So it's become notably more difficult in the last year to land roles, right? Why is that? Because more gurus, more marketers tend to create these programs where they, you know, sell more people into these to these offers, right? You know, 20 to 70 plus people a month, even 100 plus, you know, people per month, even more, right, at that point. And what that does is it creates saturation in the market. Now, every market's always going to be saturated, right? But you need to develop the right skills. And all these gurus and marketers are teaching the same strategy. And almost 95% of the time, almost nowhere, I've seen uh, anybody talking about networking, about interviewing skills, and offer selection. Almost nowhere. I never, never see it. It's always guarantee placement, fast this, fast that, right? Facebook groups, this, that, the other thing, right? It's never about personal branding. It's never about thinking like a business. And none of, none of these guys talk about this stuff because they weren't really successful for a long time doing this or even made it sustainable, right? So it's a really, really big thing that I'm seeing lacking at the moment. Now, what are the exceptions when it comes to guarantee placement, right? The exception is is that this person, if this person runs sales for multiple businesses, aka what we call a sales agency, and vets people who they accept for placement service, they won't. They shouldn't be saying anything to guaranteeing, right? Because they should be turning down more people on the front end, right? Which I've rarely ever seen, right? All these gurus or these marketers just want to sell people on their their program on the front end, and they say we'll guarantee you placement, right? The only time a guaranteed placement can actually work, you know, relatively well is again, like I mentioned, if that person or individual runs a sales agency and runs partnerships with businesses that, again, they vet for because they actually make money from you being on those offers and their reputation and the name goes behind them, which again, I'm only going to give referrals to people inside my community if I can trust putting my name behind them, right? Super key thing to understand, right? Um, referrals do exist. They do happen. They happen in you know my RSA community all the time, right? But they only happen to people who deserve it, right? Who people who have earned it, right? I'm not just going to give out referrals and put put my name behind people who don't necessarily deserve it, or that I don't trust will do well for my name because reputation is extremely important to me, right? And then the last thing is that you get lucky, right? There are some chances and sometimes we get lucky. You find the right recruiter, you find the right person, which again, recruiters do the same job as all these people that pay, ask you to pay for training anyway. Um, and you get lucky, right? Which I've seen happen. But are you really looking to you know, bet your money on luck? Are you really kind of going, ready to go to the roulette table and you know, not just bet all black on red, your specific or odds or evens, you're betting on a number, right? You're betting on a single individual number. I know myself, I wouldn't like to be betting on those odds, so I don't do so. All right? I teach all my people um, on what they should do instead, which is my last point I want to talk about here. What should you do instead of guaranteed placement? Right? Super, super important to understand. First thing, build up your lead generation skills, which is aka networking. If you want the results of a business, if you want to earn the income, you want to have the perks of you know, running a business, which is geographical, financial, and time freedom, and not only attain those, but make them sustainable, right? You need to figure out how are you marketing yourself? How are you going to speak to new opportunities? How are you going to speak to new businesses to help you get to your goals, which is, you know, 10K plus per month for most of you, right? How are you going to do that? right? You need to develop your networking skills. If you want to look on, on how to do that, there's plenty of videos on my channel that, that talk about it intensely. There's like an hour-long training there that will help you. But you need to start there, right? Because messaging business owners, uh, hey, can I please work on your team, doesn't work anymore, right? That is a strategy that has been saturated in the market. And even logistically thinking, why would a business owner want to hire inexperienced new salesperson, which typically is the vibe that you guys are giving off in your profile and your personal branding, your content, everything, right? It makes no sense. So you need to change your strategy and you need to learn the right skills so that you can land your own opportunities. Now, the second thing is to learn to sell yourself, right? You need to have interviewing skills, right? You need to be very, very good at interviewing because you guys need to understand is what that's one of the core functions of the business, right? Most people mistake uh, I guess the the like sales as sales for the business, right? As your delivery, that's your delivery. That's how you deliver for your clients. 
sales as operating a business as what I call the founder framework is you selling yourself on the interview. How do you sell yourself compared to the other, other applicants? How do you become the most desirable applicant? You need to sell yourself and you need to learn those skills. That is the next, really the next pivotal step uh, or foundational building block that's going to allow you to earn the money that you want in this industry. And then the last one is vetting offers, right? This is super important, super, super important. If you don't know how to vet your own offers, you don't know what to look for in an offer that's going to make you money or isn't, right? You end up what's in call the broke closer cycle. If you haven't seen that video, go watch my page. And in that video, I break down in detail what can happen if you don't have the right offer selection skills, which you know majority of the industry don't have because they don't have the experience and they're learning from someone who rarely ever did it and only worked on one or two offers. So they don't really know how to vet offers and what to actually look for. Now, that's pretty much guaranteed placement. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. Hopefully you got some insights. Hopefully you learned something and hopefully you're more prepared when you go out and look for potential people to help you get into the high ticket sales industry. Now, if you're interested, of course, I have my own training program, right? I'm going to plug anyway. It's my YouTube channel. Uh, if you want to learn more about it, you know, there's plenty of videos of me breaking down the RSA, what it's about on my YouTube channel. If you're interested, send me a DM on Instagram, book a call, and I would love to chat to you to see if I might be able to help you, right? But preface by saying this, don't get offended if I don't, if I cancel our call and I don't accept your form, right? We are very serious on, on who we actually accept inside the RSA, and we only accept about four to five people per week. That's our limit, that's our capacity, and that is where we're at for now. So hopefully having an amazing day, hopefully you enjoyed today's video, and uh, hey guys, I'll see you in the next one.